This winter break, I traveled to a war-torn country called Sri Lanka. I went there not only because my family and I are from Sri Lanka, it's our ancestral spot, but I also went because for the last year, I've been helping out with a non-governmental organization called SJC87. Uh, now, what this organization does is that it, it's a scholarship initiative that uses art as a rehabilitative tool in northern Sri Lanka. One of the things I did when I was there is I traveled around with this organization and saw exactly how it impacted the schools that it worked with. I met with the students, I met with the principals and the administration, and learned about what were the big issues that they were concerned about. Many of these schools were located in particularly hard-hit areas uh, that suffered a lot from the war. So uh, two areas I can think of are Mulativu and Kilinochi. And so because we were traveling a lot, I was able to see a lot of the war-affected areas. One of the things I've noticed, just as a general observation in post-war scenes, is that there's really no medium by which youth can communicate what they went through, what is it that they hope for the future, and just give the outside world a general sense of what it is that they think is important to them. So with the NGO, I'm spearheading a program called POLEM, and this project is a playwriting competition that enables the youth to express their views and their opinions and their hopes in a play format, and the winning plays get performed right here at Penn State. But because I didn't want the goals of Palm to be kind of this transient force in Sri Lanka, I didn't want it to disappear just with this competition, I held a lot of uh, drama workshops with some of the internally displaced youth in Jaffna, and we kind of created this show based on some of these workshops we had. They organized skits about various things. Uh, they organized skits about what they thought of some of these organizations that were coming in to help them, what they thought about the institutions that took them on, like schools and orphanages. And most importantly, they just had a really fun time kind of delivering these messages to an audience of, of about 50 or so people that were coming to watch them. The last thing I did was uh, talk with some of the students that took part in the playwriting competition, and I received a lot of good feedback. Many of the students said that it helped them think a little bit more about the situations that they went through and learn how to express themselves clearly. But the most important feedback I got was that the, f the youth felt like they were actually doing something, that they were sharing their experiences about a conflict that they know many people don't know about. And for them to find hope and empowerment in this project is something that I think is really amazing because they have invaluable insight and experiences that deserve to be known.